you guys are only watching this video because my buddy Ryan dropped <gasps> a GoPro Stop off. it. Do you know who it was? Yeah. All right, that's a cast. That's a cast. That's catching a fish. Oh, got him. Got him. Hooked into him. This is starting off the new chapter of the sky life. Don't stop sending. I found this in my mailbox this morning along with a GoPro Hero 5 after my GoPro was thrown into the river yesterday. I'm not gonna even get into that because I decided we're sticking to solely the positivity of fishing right here. We're hopping in the Subaru. You guys been waiting for a new video. We have 60 miles until empty. I'm going to fish the Passaic River. Let's get on this one. And I just wanna say that you guys inspire me every day to do what I do. Let's kick the GoPro on first of all and get it ready for the send. My buddy Ryan and Robbie from high school teamed up on this one. Ryan had a GoPro, he's out in Pennsylvania. I think Robbie drove out there to pick it up and then dropped it off in my mailbox this morning. Everything happened yesterday and I was feeling super down. I'm still feeling a little bit off, but I thought I have to get out here on the send. That's the only way to bring justice to this. The community that came together and has been supporting me for the past 24 hours. I can't thank you guys enough. All right. Let's keep this one as simple as it gets. Literally have 30 minutes to fish now and I'm just so stoked to be having a GoPro to film everything with. I'm gonna bring one rod and that's it, this bait caster. The river's somewhere in that direction. I got my makeshift GoPro head mount. Um, what kind of lures we got? Oh, we got all the pike lures right in here. And I got the wobbler, oh my God, we're so set. All right, you guys are coming along for this send in style. I forgot my muck boots, but this is such a last minute trip that it don't matter what I got as long as I'm out here. That's kind of the basis for every one of these trips. As long as you're out here or if you're anywhere, that is exactly where you're meant to be. And fishing is what truly makes me understand that. And that's why fishing is my life because this sport, unlike anything else that I've ever experienced, pushes me to the next step of my life. The community and the people I meet and the people I'm surrounded by, that's what makes it so special. I don't know where the car keys are. We, we need, oh, here they are, okay. Car keys equipped, car's locked up. Let's get down here and start fishing, why don't we? Locked, loaded, let's go. Let's get after the send, guys. I got a huge pike lure on right now. I'm probably just gonna keep this on, to be honest. This should catch a fish. Honestly, I started to become stoked for every moment out here. Like literally every moment of my life I need to be more stoked for because you got one, you got you got literally one of these. Keep on sending it. Real good. All right, so I got this, uh, I think it's like a Cisco plug. They make the mini D. That's another pike lure that's pretty good. And I got a pretty good feeling about the fishing today. I don't know which way I want to go. I think I want to... I don't know if I want to go upstream or downstream. All right, we got we got limited time, so I'm running from spot to spot. <sighs> Gotta catch a fish, I have to land one. Although I usually say, like, the fish catches follow, I need to land one today. Now I'm following the deer yet again, darting through the forest. Oh yeah, we're back. Oh wow, the river is so low. Yet, I'm hoping to be able to smack a pike out of here. <sighs> This is one of those fishing trips. Oh my God, I already found a tick on my leg. Two ticks on my leg. There's just so much meaning behind this trip that I feel like the fish gods are gonna give me a fish or two and a lot of ticks or two. All right, that was a good cast. Just gonna really be working fast around here. You can see it's getting dark. I think I just got one GoPro battery. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch off from this big plug. I think that I wanna throw something different, so. Let's see what we got in the tackle box. Mega bass swim bait is going on. Oh snap. We're live, we're, we're in the swamp with the swim bait. I really hope this thing gets destroyed. You never know until you go. Never know until you go. Oh God, oh, oh my God, I just got smoked. I just got smoked on the swim bait. Oh, wait, what? How did he miss it? Wait, wait, no way. No way, I just got a bite. First bite of the night. You never know until you go. That was a nice fish. Come back, come back for a pike. I got him, oh, oh, oh my God, he just smoked it. He's off, 
He's off. No, he just missed the hooks. Holy cow. Guys, did you see that? I just lost the first pike. Oh, that, that fish ain't coming back, I don't think. I don't think that fish is coming back. Let's, let's try and cast up here. Come on, now, now I need to land a fish after I saw that one. I'm telling you, that bite, I haven't gotten a bite from a pike out of the Passaic in a year. Uh oh, now we're in the tree. We're in the tree. Gotta get the swim bait back. Gotta get it back. Oh, let's go. All right, swim bait retrieved. That's one of my all-time strengths as, a, as an angler, getting lures out of the trees. So what I found out already is the pike are around the structure. So I'm gonna fish all the structure. They want a slow retrieve too. All right, that's a cast. That's a cast, that, that's catching a fish. Oh, got him, got him, hooked into him. Oh, monster, monster fish. Oh, he's staying down. Oh my God, this is a monster. This, I'm not even sure what this is. Probably a pike, probably a pike. Oh my God, ah, oh, nice one. Nice river pike, or it's a pickerel, I'll be really pat pissed. No, it's a pickerel. Are you kidding me? Swamp gator pickerel, look at this thing. Oh my God, on the mega bass. Ow. Ah, let's go, my biggest pickerel of the year. Just chomped the mega bass swim bait, and this is gonna be a tricky unhook. I don't think, <gasps> wait, my, my car keys have pliers. Wait, I might just be able to cooperate, buddy. Wow, I got the hook out. Look at this. <laughs> this has gotta be one of the most meaningful fishing trips of my entire life. Getting back there, let him go, let him grow. On the GoPro that my buddy Ryan and Robbie teamed up on to, to get over to me and keep the send alive. You guys are the absolute best. I don't even know what to say. I, oh my God. <sighs> Heart attack. <laughs> the fish almost gave me a heart attack. Let's keep fishing. I'm gonna catch a couple more. I'm so stoked right now. That's not even a pike. That was a monster though. That was a monster. Keep fishing. Let's keep fishing. Let's keep catching. I knew there was gonna be a fish right there. I just knew it. Absolutely knew. That fish destroyed the lure. Wow. So if you're wondering, there are pickerel in the Passaic too. So if you hook into a fish, you never know what it's gonna be. There should be another fish coming out of this hole. It's all looking so epic. I guess the last light bite is kind of a key. I've been skunked at the Passaic so many times and I can't tell you the energy that this trip started out on. I haven't been more excited to get out on Ascend in so long. <laughs> and the fact that I had a GoPro to go out here with, I didn't think I'd be fishing for the next month. This fishing trip is giving me so much life. Oh my, that's gonna, that's gonna catch a fish. Guys, get ready for another fish in the shore. I was gonna say in the boat, not exactly in the boat. Oh, I need a pike, I need a pike. Oh, oh let's keep going. Oh, poison ivy everywhere, luckily. I'm immune. I think just being out here so much, my body has said no no to the poison ivy. It's too much work. Oh no. No, I lost the mega bass from bait. All right, frick. I lost the mega bass somehow. I don't, I don't know what happened. I'm being honest. I'm putting on the little, the mini D, trying to catch a big pike to end the day off. Oh, oh, another fish right there on the mini D. That's a good sign. The fish are in here. Oh, ow, ow, it's a pricker tree. Right, spinner bait tied on. This is my last lure change of the night. All right, I'm gonna start slowly working back to the car, and I have 15% of the GoPro battery. I've been using, I've been using one GoPro battery this entire time. Hopefully, land another fish. All right, I'm fishing hard until this GoPro battery dies. It's getting pretty dark out here. I don't know how the pike are gonna bite, but I'm not giving up until the last second. All right, last cast going out. No. Oh. That's not good. That's gonna be last cast. Ha, ah, snapped it off. Whatever, we'll be back out here soon. This is 
the start to something huge. Air pressure, my trunk was down. Oh no, my rod. That's not the end to the trip we need. I snagged my spinner bait and my rod just, look, this freaking trunk I opened it halfway. Look what happens. This is my favorite rod. This is one of my favorite rods. That's just not good. Well, until next time, keep on getting out there. Keep on promoting the positivity of fishing. And even if something like that happens, keep on getting out there.